now on their patch, the Trailfinders want to deliver to their fans a trophy. This year, Ealing Rugby Club celebrate 150 years of rugby. The RFU also began 150 years ago, when Blackheath Club arranged a meeting in the Pall Mall Hotel. And a representative from Ealing and a representative from Wasps went to the wrong pub <laughs> and ended up, as we understand it, having far too much to drink and never officially joined them until later on. We have minute books which minute an incredibly nomadic existence from sort of 1871 up until the First World War. Fifty-seven out of the 60 members of the club joined up to fight. Club captain Algernon Winter Rose survived the trenches of Flanders but fell victim to the Spanish flu pandemic of 1919. Obviously, the number of, of men killed during the First World War had a dramatic effect on sporting clubs. When the Scots bang a sixpence at Twickenham, you bet what you've got there's a trick in them. As everyone knows, it's the thistle and rose and thousands of necks with a crick in them. In 1939, Ealing Rugby closed its doors as the players went to war. Club captain Sam Larkin was reputed to have rallied his team and marched them down to the recruiting office. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. Ealing Rugby finally found a place to call home at Barclay Fields in Greenford. There was nothing there. They actually built the clubhouse by themselves. They must have cut corners, however, because the clubhouse used to flood whenever it rained. It was a bit of a shed, but it was our shed, right? And it had lots of trophies on the walls. When I joined it, there was a full-size IRFU flag, which apparently had been liberated from somewhere in Dublin. Now the club has moved to Trailfinder Sports Club, thanks to the patronage of Sir Mike Gooley. This is the club we know and support today. This year for us, um, it will be special because I think there's a genuine opportunity for us to take the next step up to the Premiership. We're now in a position where we can really push on. Uh, we'd love everyone to be a part of it. We're trying to build something real special over here. So, you know, if they, if they want to come down and be a part of it, we'd love to have them over here. Our academy offers not just education, university, college education for people. Our community team are out all the time in local schools, inner city, London, developing projects there and introducing people to the game. There's not many times you're going to be at a club where you're there for that 150th year and I think um, it's important that we celebrate that. This club has survived through two world wars the Spanish flu and COVID pandemics, and continues to flourish. Finds David Johnson. Oh, what a line that is from Luke Daniel. What's next? for the Ealing Trailfinders. <laughs>